Hey everybody, welcome to Pitcher This. I'm your host, John Pitcher. Today we're at the range with the Ruger Pistol Caliber Carbine. This is the Magpul Backpacker Edition in Flat Dark Earth. I have a Hollow Sun 403R mounted on it. Put that on just after I purchased it at the uh, gun dealer down in McAdam. We, uh, we brought it to the range here. We just came off of the 50 meter range where we sighted this in reasonably well. Uh, I'll cut to some video. You can have a look at that. So, this is a 147 grain Winchester full metal jacket at 50 meters. These are not the best targets in the world for shooting because my red dot covers up the red dot on the target, but that's all I had. And you'll be able to see where the bullets hit anyways. I'll try the middle target first, or the, the bottom one, what you're looking at. red dot starting to disappear in the mess down there. Let's go see what that looks like. It's actually not too bad. When I'm shooting, my red dot kind of disappears. And once they start to show up, it's really hard to pick up. I will make an adjustment. I'll quickly bring the optic down probably two inches, maybe a tiny bit to the right, and I'll see what it looks like on that one. All right, we'll try five more rounds. Just to see, we'll go with the top target this time. So I'm good with elevation now. Still could come a bit to the right. Maybe I dialed that wrong way. I don't think I did, but uh, that's close enough for today. I'll get some different targets and try something else. Actually, you know what? I'll try five more rounds. I'll adjust it a bit more to the right, and I'll try five rounds on one of these right here. See if I can uh, see that a little easier. We'll get that done right quick. All right. We'll give this one more shot for today.
that's certainly way better than what I was getting over there. It's easier to see that black dot with the red optic, obviously. That one could have been me, I'm not sure. I'm happy with that. And through the magic of editing, we are back. And now we're gonna try some different types of ammunition just to see how it runs. I suspect it'll run just fine. First off, we have Winchester 115 grain full metal jacket. Next, we have American Eagle, Eagle full, uh, 115 grain full metal jacket. And 115 grain Remington hollow points. Six hour 124 grain full metal jacket. And last but not least, we have Winchester 147 grain full metal jacket. So I'll start with the Winchester. This is 115 grain full metal jacket. Runs just fine. This is uh, American Eagle, 115 grain. Remington, 115 grain. Hollow points. One twenty four grain Sig Sauer Still not quite used to that bolt locking back. And this is the one forty seven grain Winchesters. There you have it. No issues with any of that ammunition. So let's go over the actual carbine itself. I'll tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. Very light. I think it weighs around six pounds. That's one thing I like about it. Uh, if you want to stick around to the end of the video, I'll have an unboxing there. When it comes to the actual carbine itself, of course, the major feature of this is the takedown part of it, which is very handy. Easily packable. It comes with uh, an extra uh, cheek riser, I guess you could say, or to adjust your comb. This one is the higher one. Uh, the one that comes with it is more used for the uh, iron sights that come on the gun. If you're gonna put an optic on it at all, uh, this one is a, just a low riser on it and uh, I still needed the, the higher cheek comb uh, onto the stock there, so just FYI. But that does come with the, in the box with the, with the rifle when you get it, so. Again, I'm using a Holosun 403R. It works quite well. It's, it's a relatively cheap optic, but mounted on this, it works very well. So let's go from stem to stern on this gun. Easily put together like that. This one is an 18 and a half inch barrel. It's a fluted barrel. It's actually a little warm there now, obviously. Comes with iron sights. Uh, it is a threaded barrel and uh, it's not a really smooth, fine finish on it. It's kind of a roughed, uh, a rough, kind of a matte finish on the barrel. I, I worry a bit about the, uh, the weatherproofing on that, but if it's anything like any other Rugers I've had, I, should be just fine. Uh, there's really not much else to talk about that. It's easily, uh, you can lock open the bolt easily enough with one hand, take down, and then it's packable within itself. Like that. And then go ahead and put it in a little backpack or a pouch or whatever you have. So uh, when it comes to the actual Magpul stock, very intuitive, you can open up this part and it'll fit a magazine in there, like that. 
Of course, our mags are only 10 rounds, but they're still, they still occupy the same real estate as a, like a regular 17 round Glock magazine. I did change out the mag well on this to accept Glock magazines because I do have a few Glock magazines. Uh, one of the things I, I dislike about this stock is that it didn't come with any uh, sling mounts. The, the holes are there to put them in, but you have to pay extra money to get them. So it's like if you want to put them on both sides, it's probably another $80 or $100 to, to put those on there. That's a, a little oversight on, on uh, Ruger's part or Magpul, I think, for that. Uh, it would be nice to have at least them mounts for one side of the, the carbine at least. Um, shoots pretty good. Uh, grouping wise, we just, like I said, we just came off of that 50 meter range and uh, quite happy. I'm not the best shooter in the world, but uh, group's quite good for 50 meters. I'm happy with that. I do like, I had the uh, Ruger PCC uh, with the M lock four end on it was the last one that I had and the actual stock on that I found quite clunky it was kind of like handling a like a 15 pound salmon it was just quite awkward this one on the other hand this Magpul stock is very nice like the pistol grip on this very smooth it's a little bit more vertical than the Ruger stock and uh, I like the way it fits your hand very nicely outside of that a uh, very good little gun I uh, I don't think there's anything else I could probably comment about it. What I would like to have or not have. Um, yeah, I like it. Anyway, folks, if there's anything, uh, like I said, actually, you can stick around just after this. I'm going to actually put the whole unboxing of the, uh, the Ruger at the end of this video for you to see. If you uh, like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this, uh, about guns and tools and other things like that, then uh, why not subscribe? I'd appreciate it. It will uh, help me make more videos. All right, folks, till the next time, take care. Okay, let's crack open the Ruger PCC. That would be the riser for the stock. In case you want to put a scope on there, if you need it. And spacer for the charge handle. I just opened this at the gun dealer, just enough to see the color. I wasn't sure if I wanted the flat dark earth or the green one, so I chose the flat dark earth. If you watch the videos on uh, my channel, you'll see that I shot a Ruger PCC before comparing it to the Chris Vector. Uh, very nice. This is a 10 round magazine, Ruger magazine. So that would fit in the magwell that it comes with. I don't plan to use that. This is the Magwell to adapt for Glock magazines, so that is my intention to do that. Change that out. And the cable lock. Well, some hex keys. I assume that's probably for changing out the Magwell. I can't remember honestly how to do that. It's been a while. Flag in the chamber. Some looks like oil there. It doesn't not a big deal. I'm sure that'll clean off. That's probably part of the oil they put on it for shipping. I wasn't sure when, uh, when I was going to buy this if it would come in uh, two pieces or if it would come assembled. Obviously, it comes assembled. I assume they ship this in the box like every other Ruger PCC. Back. Take care of that 
flag chamber or chamber flag. <laughs> have it. Like I said, I will be swapping out the magwell on this shortly. And so that's the gun. And of course, owner's manual in the bottom. Easily comes apart. That is quite neat. Well, folks, thanks for tuning in. That again is the Ruger PCC 9mm with the Ruger Backpacker stock and flat dark earth. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And if you like these kind of videos, how about subscribing? Thanks so much. Take care, folks.